you line up your smoke, aim perfectly, jump throw and it lands way off. Sounds familiar? Welcome to CS2. Pro players never miss those pixel perfect smokes, but it's not just skill, they use a simple tool you probably don't, the jump throw bind. In this video I'll show exactly how to bind jump throws to your mouse wheel in CS2, explain why it's so powerful and give you some bonus tips to make your utility game to the next level. CS2 grenade mechanics are super sensitive, many smokes need to be released at the exact frame you jump. Manually doing that it's almost impossible and super inconsistent. That's why everyone, from facey grinders to pro teams, uses a jump throw bind it automates the jump throw in a single input, giving you flawless grenades every time. And binding it to your mouse wheel makes it even better. It's fast, reliable and doesn't take up any of your main keys. Alright, here's how to set up your mouse wheel jump throw bind step by step. 1. Enable the developer console. Go to settings, game tab, set enable developer console to yes. Step 2. Open the console. Place the key under escape to open it. Step 3. Choose a bind. You have two options, depending on which direction you prefer. For mouse wheel up, for mouse wheel down. This bind makes you jump, throw, then instantly cancel the jump. All in one flick of the wheel. Super clean. Here's how to do it. It works with any grenade, not just smokes. You can use it for pop flashes, grenades or even jump throw decoys if you are baiting. Here are a few quick tips to avoid mistakes that most players make. Don't spam the scroll, just flick it once to activate the beam cleanly. Make sure your mouse wheel isn't already bound to another action like jump or weapon switching. It could mess with your throws. And practice the throws in offline matches. And that's it, your smokes just leveled up. If this helped you, hit that like button and subscribe. 